drops of up to more than 50% in the price of oil has caused for some adjustments on the international economic front. One of these changes includes the price of fuel, which has seen several declines up to much more than what the ordinary person might have expected. Unfortunately, no one at the Ministry of Mines and Energy was available for comment. However, economist Pietrus Nuyoma did speak to us telephonically. This uh, global oil market is very volatile and it's not easy to really make any speculations or prediction. But we, we, we can only hope that uh, the situation remains the same. We can only hope. But uh, yeah, we are monitoring the situation closely and we cannot really promise or speak with any certainty that there will be another decrease in the next month. A few months ago, local motorists paid just over $12 per litre for petrol and the price of Brent crude oil stood at almost 100 US dollars per barrel. Today, oil sells at less than half its normal price and petrol is almost $3 cheaper. There's an oversupply in the market and the open countries that have been the traditional producers of, of, of oil don't want to cut production. And naturally, the very fundamentals of economics say that if there's an oversupply and the weaker demand, prices will inevitably fall down. So that's what is happening now. They don't want to cut production. There's an oversupply in the market. So this is what is causing all these sharp declines in the Nobody anticipated that they would go this low. Wallfish Bay pump prices will thus be $9.59 for petrol per litre and $9.82 and $0.92 per litre for diesel 550 ppm respectively. Franco Olafir reporting for the news on one.